Louis! Fidelis. Where's your husband? Fidelis, what's going on? Louis, come out here! Fidelis. <laughs> Augusta, what's going on here? Your son is dying at the hospital. That's what's going on. I beg your pardon? <laughs> is this some kind of April Fool's joke? I'll show you April Fool's oh, joke. Oh, you lousy excuse for a friend. Fidelis. What's wrong? Ex explain it to me, please. Ask your husband to explain how he got my wife pregnant. What? I did what? Fidelis! I need out of your mind! If you open your mouth again, I will punch your face in! Fidelis, I, I don't I, I don't understand. I don't understand. My son Henry is dying at the hospital and needs some blood. It is either his father, your husband, comes forward and donates some blood or the poor boy will die. No. No, no. Ask him. No. I said ask him. Tell me this is not true. Uh, for the little boy now, the one who had an accident that I brought in here. Sir, you're back? Yes, yes, sir. You're checking the blood? No, 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 my blood was not compatible with the boy's own. But he is here to make the donation. Yes, yes. Well, have you seen the doctor? No, no. But let's get started. I'll see the doctor later. Okay, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> I'll take this for cross machine. Okay, please do that as quickly as possible. Don't touch me. Don't you ever touch me. That brought the accident victim is here. He came with another man who wants to donate blood. But why running a test? There's no need. It's no longer required. Let me stop the distraction then. What do I tell them? Well, I don't know. They are downstairs. I'll see them myself. Somebody whose blood I think will be compatible with the boy's own. My friend, get up now. Let me look at you. Why? My son still. I mean, the boy still needs the blood, doesn't he? Not anymore. I'm really sorry. What do, you, what do you mean? I'm sorry. We lost the ball. I'm Oh, God. 
Did anyone come looking for me? Come on, darling, I just asked you a question. Did anyone come just, looking just for me? Just shut up! Leave me alone! Just go! Go away from me! Where are you going? Lewis. Lewis! You dog! Louis, how could you do this to me? How? After all we've been through in this marriage, Louis. Louis, for so many years I remained so faithful to you! I loved you. I trusted you. Louis, why? What is it in this? What did you see in Augusta? I have no time for this, Cordelia. You have no time for what? You have no time for what? What are you running from? What is chasing you? Your sons? No, maybe Nemesis. And suddenly you filthy slob! Get your hands off me! No, I won't! I said, get your hands off me! What's wrong with you? And where do you think you're going to? You are not going anywhere! Get your hands off the stupid No, I won't. I said get your hands off the stupid bag! Louis, me! for a while but I'll still get you. Let me see if you won't come back to your house. Oh! <laughs> 
such a hideous act and you thought you could cover it up? Well, what's going on? <laughs> Henry died at the hospital today only for me to discover he was not my son. What is that supposed to mean? Henry was Louis's child. My wife slept with my best friend, got pregnant for him, and foisted the child on me. Now, do you begin to grasp the enormity of what she did? You are leaving today. You are leaving today. You are leaving today. You are leaving today. Nothing to say or do that will make me change my mind. But she is leaving. I said she is leaving. You have no idea what it feels like. You haven't the slightest idea what it's like. That boy called me father. And I loved him like a son. He was my son, but he wasn't my son. Not because of the cold hands of death that snatched him away, but because of a filthy... <clears throat> that I called my wife. I can imagine the pain and shock you're going through. Believe me, Mama was right after all. Yeah, she was right. You mean she knew? She told me some time ago about some recurrent bad dreams she had had concerning Augusta. She stated very clearly that Augusta had a skeleton in her cupboard, but she didn't know exactly what it was. She told me about the dream as well. Recently, I had a couple of bad dreams concerning Augusta. And in the dream, she always stabbed me with a knife. Believe me, Mama was right. But 
I didn't listen to her. Listen, I, I don't know. You need to catch some sleep, okay? Sleep. Sleep has deserted me. This is my new companion. This is my new companion. All my dreams. Bad dreams. Now Henry is dead. The last time I came to your house, I saw that man. He came in the morning while you were away. And I wondered why. Who is this so-called Louis? Do you know him? I don't know him. But they say he's my son's best friend. I have known him for a very long time. Then how could you have been so careless as to have allowed him to have an affair with your wife? To the extent that he got her pregnant. Maybe they have been at it for a very long time. Until Urashi Yeke decided to expose them. Only it took the life of an innocent young boy. Henry. Mama. You people should stop blaming Fidelis. A man cannot be alone without friends. Oh shut up Emeka! Your brother is a fool. A blind fool. Each time I talk, all he sings about is how much he loves his wife. And how I am an old foolish woman. I never called you foolish, mom. By all implications you did. But guess who is the fool now? You married a woman only for another man to get her pregnant. Fidelis, are you sure that the other children are yours? Anita! Anita! Where are your brothers? Inside. Go and get them all dressed up and come out all of you right now. Can this wait till tomorrow? I'm not waiting for anything. This has to be done now. You just came back. I said I'm not waiting. see Dr. Richard. You have an appointment with him, sir? No, but if you tell him I'm here, he would want to see me. Tell him Fidelis. Okay. I'll tell him. Hold on, sir. I think you've asked my advice, Fidelis. 
I will suggest you leave things the way they are. Know that these children may not be yours. But supposing the test comes out, and on the contrary, you have no paternity over these children, I call you father. Richard, you have no idea how devastated the recent event has left me. Then why try to make things worse? Listen, I'm not going to live my life not being sure if these children are actually mine. God forbid. But if, on the contrary, what will you do? You send them away? I don't think so, Fidelis. At my age and status, it would be a big shame to just go on living without knowing certain truths about my family. I want this paternity test carried out. Oh, very well. I will take them to the lab section and then I will notify you when the result comes out. I brought you some food to eat. Augusta, you can't continue like this. You hardly eat and you hardly take your bath. Susan, you don't know the pain I'm going through. You don't know the shame. I don't know how torn apart I am. You don't know. Look, Augusta. I'm a woman too. And I know what it feels like losing a child. <sighs> losing my child. And then to be sent back in the same day from my husband's house. Not to talk about the shame and disgrace I'm suffering from the revelation of this shameful act I created. I did years ago. All at one day. <laughs> But how did it all happen? I never knew you were having an affair with Louis. Augusta, talk to me. I don't know. Then how did it, this whole thing happen? You know, all this hasn't just been my fault alone, you know. Do you remember when Fidelis used to beat me and show me out of the house? Yes, I do, but that was barely three or four years into your marriage. Yeah. I am not going to open that door. Open this door before I break it. Break it. 
Augusta. I said, open this door right now. Are you mad? If I can't fight and you don't open this door, you are finished. Again. Why would he stop doing all this? Eh? Can you just imagine? Look at those very nasty bruises on her face. What about your daughter, Anita? Is she okay? Eh? What triggered this again to the Augusta? That is not necessary. Please take her inside and go and fix her something to eat. Please do that quickly. You can see she's very tired. Let me show you to the guest room. Sorry. Has your husband gone out already? Mm, of course. He's an early riser. Oh, anyway, he'll see your husband later in the day. doing this to me? Am I his punching bag? Just look at me, Cordelia. Look at me. All that will change. Trust me. Okay. Look, I have to run. I'll just grab my bag and shoot. I'll see you later in the day, okay?
Sorry, I passed on you like this. I I didn't know you were dressed up. It's okay, really. I didn't hear you driving. Now, did my wife fix you breakfast before leaving this morning? No, she didn't, but uh, it's okay. I actually know my way around, really. Are you sure? <laughs> of course I do. Thank you very much, anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. I was here at a place this morning to see your husband. You shouldn't have. What did you say anyway? I did the best I could. I I tried speaking with him but he, he wouldn't listen. He wanted to come over to the house and pack your things for questioning and insulting him. I'm sorry. Felix. That man comes to the house every day drunk. And every day I smell alcohol in his breath. And he beats me up every day. Every day. Now, Felix never thought in his world that one day, just one day, I will stand up to him. It's all right. It's, it's all not right. all right. Just calm down, please. Just look at me. You have a friend you can count on, please. Why is Felix punishing me like this? Did you not ask him? I'm sorry. I'm Did sorry. you ask him what I have I done to him? I can't calm down, I can't calm down. It's too much for me to drink. Why is he putting me up all the time? Is there something I'm not doing? Tell me. Please, just Did you ask right. him it's for me? Right. Why is that all right? Send this to me. No, I can't relax. I can't I'm relax. Sorry. I'm sorry, just calm down, okay? <laughs> just try and relax, okay? Just try. I can't just relax. Just Oh. I can't relax, I'm a wreck. I can't relax, I can't relax. Okay, okay, okay. See, listen, listen, just calm down. Okay. Everything okay. will be alright. Okay. I can't calm down, Please. I can't calm down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't, I can't relax, I'm down. no.
That was how we started. All the love and warmth that I couldn't get from my husband. Louis gave to me. I couldn't stop it anymore. It just went on and on. And you mean his wife never knew? She was never around. She was always away. He saw there's an avenue to rid myself of the trauma I was going through with fidelity. The minute I knew that I was pregnant, I found a way and got back to Fidelis. So you mean he never knew? No. that believe me I don't have the slightest idea on how to approach this matter I just pray that time heals this wound it's okay hmm? but please try it okay Please. Okay? We'll do in a minute. Been restless. James cries all night. Sometimes I even get scared in my room whenever I think of Henry. Anita, don't worry, okay? Everything is going to be alright. God is taking control, okay? Who has me? Who that be? You witch! You shameless dog! I was a fool to have taken you in! You mean that dead boy is your partner to me for doing all I did for you when your dad was not to you? Dad, please behave yourself! This is not the time to antagonize your point accusing fingers! For God's sake, you just lost the shit! You put everyone here to die! How dare you! How dare you break my marriage! My relationship! My trust! Oh, you are so shameless! You are so shameless! I will show you, Augusta! Augusta, I will sh I will deal with you, Augusta. I'm leaving your house. You will see. You will see. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Um, I went 
to see my friend down the road. Which friend? Down which road? Um, I met her... Um, Let this be the last time you cross my gate to go and see any friend. Do you hear me? You went to see your mother, didn't you? No, Dad. Don't lie to me. I will not allow you to get infected by that woman. I will not allow any part of her to get into you. Do you hear me? She's a snake. Now get into your room. Smoking. Remember you quit this habit years ago. I'd rather die smoking than die in the hands of that traitor. She's nothing but a snake, that's what she is. You sound so bitter. And believe me, you have every reason to be. But please. Do not allow this to destroy you. You'll have to go to the village and inform them about what has happened. I can't go now. Hello? Ah, Richard. How are you? You want me to come right away? Are the results ready? Should I come with the children? Okay, okay, I'll be there right away. It's the doctor who wants me to come to the hospital right away. Okay, well, if I have to go to the village, I might have to leave immediately so that I can come back tomorrow. Sir, he'll be with you in a few minutes time. Okay. Hello, Mr. Fidelix. <laughs> Richard, I was beginning to wonder how long it will take you to come back. No. Uh, I will send one of those nurses to go and get the result of the test. On a second thought, I decided to go get it myself to avoid having it tampered with. So how did the test go? Yeah. Uh, this is for James. What does it say? He's your son. That's great, great, great. What about Anita? Yes, Anita. What does her own say? There is no doubt. She is her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not that I didn't know, but well, with recent events, I had to be sure. You never can tell. <laughs> Good. That's great. Uh -huh. What about my first son, John Paul? Oh, John Paul. This is for John Paul. And what does his own say? Uh, I'm sorry, Fidelis. The boy is not a child. What did you say? That John Paul? He's not a child. Actually, we carried out the DNA test, which was near perfect. Then we checked on the blood group. 
and your racist factor is positive. And from the last time your wife was here with a child, we also carried out a test on her. And our racist factor was positive. But strange enough, John Paul's racist factor is negative, which is unbelievable. What you're trying to tell me is that John Paul is not my son? Definitely not. He's not your son. Then whose son is he? I, I, I don't know. Maybe you ask your wife Augusta. She may be in a better position to know. Fidelis, your coming here is a very big surprise. I was actually going to see you much later in the evening. Excuse me, let me get your wife. One is private about it. I still would like to talk with you in private, if you don't mind. Well, suit yourself. I don't see what difference it will make. When you finish, you meet me outside. Augusta. Augusta, come and see them. Augusta, due to the recent events that took place, I took it upon myself, having known your family, to come and discuss this with you. Discuss what? Henry and his partner, too. No. To talk about your son, John Paul. We conducted a test on all your children upon your husband's request. The results are out. Anita and James are your husband's children. But John Paul is not. I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? How dare you? How dare you? John Paul's test was conducted six times. I don't want to be disrespectful here, Augusta. But I want you to think. Beside your husband and Louis. Where did you sleep with? What kind of question is that? How dare you ask me such a question, eh? I am sorry. Your husband is already aware of the result of the test. I am a doctor. And a long time standing in front of this family. 
and in my profession this sort of question is common I'm sorry Augusta I am only helping you as to explain the situation to your husband I think there's someone here Augusta I want you to think like this each time I'm traveling. What do you expect Anita to do? Look, Fidelis, you are hardly at home these days. You're always traveling. I have all these things to do, these projects to handle. I need to make the money for us. Yes, I know that, Fidelis, but I mean, come on. Sometimes you're gone for weeks, even months. You just came back from a three-week journey to Abuja. Now you're going to London again for two months. Look, I miss you each time I'm going on these trips. <laughs> then you must be really enjoying missing me because you're always going on these trips, you know. I'm alone in this house with Anita. I know, but Emeka is around. He's, he's the male presence in the house. Emeka is not my husband, Fidelis. I know, but he's my younger brother. Listen. I'll cut short my stay this time for you. Okay? Will you see me off to the airport? Oh, okay. You have barely 45 minutes to check in. Is the car ready? Yep. If you hurry, you won't miss your flight.
I slept in the maker's room that night. And the next. And I had him sleep in my room occasionally to douse my fear. With all the nights of loneliness, then we made love. And we continued until he came back. That must have been when I took him. So there is some sort of pregnancy of error. Please let me beg my husband. This wasn't intentional. Please. Augusta. Certain things you do that you will never get away with in this life. This is one of them. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. The truth finally came out. Hmm? The dreams of an old woman has finally come to be. Hey! Emeka, are you very sure of this? Uncle, I'm very sure. The reason I'm saying this is because doctors of today, their judgments are not as perfect as that of the oracle, the Rashi Yeke. There could be errors. What errors? Huh? What errors? Errors shown to me in my dreams or errors confessed to by Augusta? Huh? For that boy to die. I remember each time they call home for Christmas, he spends his time climbing up and down the orange tree behind my building. I wanted to cry. I would have cried. But how can I cry for a child that is not my son's child, but the product of an evil woman's deceit? Hmm. What did you do with my wife? What is that supposed to mean? I said, what did you do with my wife? She's Fidelis. She's Fidelis. What did you do with my wife, Emeka? Abed. Abed. Fidelis. Fidelis, kill me. She's somebody helping now. Abed. Abed, Fidelis, please. Fidelis, please. Fidelis. You want to kill your brother? I will kill Emeka today. Let him say what he did with my wife in my absence. Fidelis, Fidelis, Fidelis. Remove the gun. Do you want to kill your brother? Please, please. Don't you respect me? 
I will kill Emeka today. Emeka, I swear by the sun, I will kill and bury you. Please. Wherever you are running to, make sure you stay there. Because any day I find you will be your last day on earth. I promise you that. Fidelis. See, you want to kill your brother in my presence. And you cannot even give me the respect of an uncle. Hey, Fidelis. Come and give me that gun. Mameka slept with my wife. What? Have you gone mad? Fidelis. Who filled you with, with such terrible rumors? It is no rumor, Mama. Just as Henry is not my son, so also John Paul is not my son. Uh? Emeka slept with my wife and got her pregnant. And John Paul is the product. Oh my God. Hey! Oh my God. Hey! 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 Oh, 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 oh. to call a family meeting. I want the family to accompany me to see Augusta's people. For what? I don't want to be married to her anymore and I don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. And I also want to state that from today I will have nothing more to do with Emeka. Dr. Davis, please my son. Please no. Calm down. Fidelis, calm down. Calm down, uncle. I wake up one morning and discover that two of my sons are no longer my sons. Where is Augusta, your wife? Where is she right now? I don't know. And I don't care to know. She's out of my house and out of my life. Fidelis, please, you have to excuse I and your mother. Let me talk to her. You are Fidelis' mother. I want to talk to you privately. To hear from you before I speak my mind concerning this issue. What do you want me to say? Look at me now. This is the time I should be enjoying with my children and grandchildren. But see what is happening to me. My son wants to kill his brother. We must find a way to resolve this issue. This problem has already been solved. That woman must leave my son's life and home for good. What happens to a maker and the child that we were told that is a maker's? I don't know what to say. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what to think or say anymore. This is what I think. We must bury this issue. Bury? How? For the interest of the children, that of Emeka and Fidelis. How do you tell the children that have been living together that John Paul is no longer their brother? How? How do you tell Fidelis to let go of the whole thing? Put yourself in his shoes now. He must forgive. Fidelis must forgive. Forgiveness is the answer to this problem. Now let me go and talk to him. Who's to be blamed? Mm. 
maybe we all are without blame cause in the end we're the same every action gets a reaction but forgiveness I personally want to talk to you man to man I know how you feel the pains and shame the agony of betrayal the only thing that will placate me is for thunder to strike them all dead before nightfall today in God's name it will not happen what has happened has happened we must find a solution to this problem the only solution is for the marriage between Augusta and myself to be dissolved. The solution is forgiveness. You must forgive. I must do what? <laughs> you can't be serious, Uncle. Fidelis, you only think of yourself. Think of your children. If you allow this to happen, it will tear your children apart. And they will end up being the product of a broken home. They will be well taken care of. Fidelis, can you look John Paul in the eyes and tell him that he's no more your child? He grew up knowing you as his father. All his life he calls you father and no one else. Well, I have discussed this issue with your mother and she agrees with me. There is no need spreading this scandal far and wide. It must be resolved between us. Uncle, how can I live with this? How do I wake up every morning and behold the face of the woman that slept with my best friend and my brother? Instead, let her have a room in the house. But your children will live with your father and their mother. One of them is not my child. Fidel is everything that comes from your wife is yours from the very day you married her. John Paul is and will continue to be your son. You must forgive. Fidel is After you must. Has been said and done. Who's to be blamed? Hmm. Maybe we all are without bullying. And the children said you weren't around. Look, Susan, if you're here for Augusta, I think it's a complete waste of your time. Philippines, I know how terrible you must have felt over this situation. You cannot even begin to imagine what it feels like. Do you know what it means? The pain, the betrayal, and the emotional trauma. I don't think you have the slightest idea. Augusta told me the whole truth about what happened. Yes, she committed that act. But you were part of it. She's to be blamed. But when you look at the the first time you committing that sin, you have your own faults too. Are you out of your mind, Susan? Did you come here to accuse me over my wife's infidelity? Fidelis, at the time of your marriage, you brutalized your wife. You became a terror to her. And in running away from this daily nightmare, she ran into the hands of your brother and your friend, which of course resulted to what has just happened. Let me tell you something. I feel no sympathy for Augusta if that's what you're here to solicit for. Fidelis, if you had shown her more love, given her more of your time and attention, this will never have happened. I am not here to exonerate Augusta, but all I'm saying is that you should please forgive her, at least for the sake of your children. It was just a sin of omission. Look, Susan, I do not need this lecture from you. 
I will not have that woman near my home anymore and that's final. No, please don't say that Fidelis. Augusta is truly very sorry. She cries all night. How touching. She hardly eats and she's slowly starving herself to death. Please, forgive her. It wasn't intentional. Please don't put her to shame like this. You and the children mean the whole world to her. And she thinks highly of you. Please, forgive her and bring her back home. Are you through? Look. For what Augusta did, after all the love I'd shown her, I think she deserves worse than death. I'm sorry your coming here was a complete waste of your time. I was on my way out anyway. I'm sure you can find your way. After all, has been said and done who's to be blamed mm. maybe we all are without blame cause in the end we're the same and every action gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution said every action gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution oh no, no. beware of the people around you oh, yeah. you call your friends you call your friends even Come. the ones you hold Close to your heart, close to your heart. The ones you trust, oh, no matter what, no could matter. be the same, the ones. same ones, the same ones to break your heart, break your heart, break Daddy, your heart. Is it true, John Paul is not our brother? Who told you that? I went to see him mom. And I overheard her talking with Auntie Susan. John Paul, listen. It's not true, okay? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Come here. Listen to me. You're my son just like James. And I'm your father. Okay? Don't let anybody tell you any different. Do you hear me? But where is our mom not home? Are you going to send me away like you sent her away? Daddy, please don't send me away. John Paul, nobody is sending you anywhere. You are my son and I will not send you away, okay? 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 Whatever Anita heard from Susan is not true. Not true. Do you hear me? Good. Daddy, please forgive mommy. Let her come home. We miss her. Please. After all Daddy, has been said and done. <laughs> who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are. Without blame. Augusta, what do you think you're doing to yourself? You haven't eaten anything for days now. Susan, I'm not hungry. Do you know that you are deliberately starving yourself to death? Look, Susan. How do I face everybody now? Hmm? How do I face the society? My family? What excuse do I have, really? What excuse? Let God be the judge of that, okay? Yes, you messed up. But it wasn't entirely your fault. If your husband had 
spent more time with you, giving you more love and attention. This will never have happened. Look, I want you to cheer up, okay? And listen to me. We all make mistakes. This is one mistake too many. A mistake of my life. After all has been said yes, and done. Who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. Cause in the end, we're the same. Every action gets a reaction, but forgiveness brings the solution. Said every action gets a reaction, but forgiveness. I brought them to see their mom. After all has been said and done, Let me have who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame, cause in the end we're the same. Every action gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution said every action gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution oh no, no. beware of the people around you oh, yeah. you call your friends you even the ones you hold close to your heart the ones you trust no matter what could be the same ones the same ones to break your heart it's a sad and a painful thing when the one you call your friend turns around and stabs you in the back mm. oh no yeah. it feels so bad when the one you love so much betrays your trust oh no it's so sad it's so bad it can make you mad oh so mad no beware of the people around you you call your friends no even the ones you hold close to your heart the ones you trust no matter what could be the same one the same words to break your heart Oh no, oh After all has been said and done Who's to be believed?